Hello everyone, this is Protocol Computer Repairs. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to check the health status of a storage drive. Uh, this method would apply to internal or external drives that you may have, such as a flash drive or uh, an external storage drive that you use for storage or backups. Um, this method would allow you to see if the drive is in good health or if it's in bad health. So if you guys would like to know that information, let's jump right into it. I don't want to keep you guys for too long for this video, so let's go. So in order to check the health status of your drive, you're going to need to download a program called Crystal Disk Info, and you can find that online uh, by doing a Google search. So you would type in Crystal Disk Info. The website would be crystalmark.info. You would go to the download link. Uh, we're going to download the standard edition installer Vista. And it may take a second for the download pop-up to come up. If you don't see it at all, you could just click on this link and it would manually download the file for you. But if you see it, you would just click save. And then once the download completes, you would hit open file or uh, find the install file and launch it. Click yes for the UAC prop. We're gonna um, we're going to accept the agreement. Next, next. If you want, you can you know have it create a shortcut. Me, I'm not going to create a shortcut. Next, install. And we're going to leave this box checked, and we're going to click finish. So this would be the program. You'll see all of the drives that are detected uh, by this program, which are the drives that are either internal or external plugged in via USB to the computer. And um, just to give you guys a simple explanation on how to uh, read this program, you would want to look at the health status and this would tell you if the drive is in good health or if it's in bad health. So the, um, the this program uses three colors. One would be blue, which is the good health status. And then the other would be yellow which is the caution health status. And then the last would be red, which means that that's a bad health status for the drive. So if you see all blue for the drives that are in your system, that would be excellent. If you see one with yellow, that means that there were errors found on the drive. The drive may still work, but you can still store, you know, add data to it if you wanted to. However, if you start noticing issues with the drive, like missing files and stuff like that, you may want to be wary of that drive um, and just I wouldn't recommend putting uh, a lot of you know important data on it. Red would be that the drive is for certain bad and um, basically that would mean that that drive could fail at any moment. So you would immediately, um, as soon as you possibly can, uh, back up that drive before it has a catastrophic failure. So again, there's three health statuses in this program. Blue would be the drive is in good health. Yellow would be that the drive is in a caution state and you may want to be wary of that drive. Red would be uh, the last health status, which is bad. Um, and you would want to immediately back that drive up if you have anything important on it because it can fail at any moment. Um, I mean, that can happen to any drive, but uh, it's definitely you know good if you can get a heads up on it. So. Um, that's how you guys would be able to see the health status of your drives. I would like to add as well that um, just like for a troubleshooting tip, if you're experiencing a slowdown like on startup or if you're noticing that like your file explorer is locking up quite a bit or if just uh, some like applications are not launching uh, correctly, like you're getting errors when you're trying to launch an application sometime. Um, those can be signs as well. Like if one of your drives shows up as a yellow drive or a, or a red drive, um, that may explain that. Maybe that's the drive that's causing you issues like that. So um, it would be best to remove it or replace the drive. Um, I would suggest removing it first to see if that you know those issues um, get better. Um, and if it does, you know that would warrant replacing the drive or uh, removing it from the system. So. Um, if you guys thought this video was helpful, please leave a like below. That does help the video. And um, if you guys are interested in any other future videos I'll be making, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.